Network and cable television can be accessed through a variety of routes. These days, building an audience online is one of the more common strategies. Over the past few years, this tactic has worked for several series. Here are 10 TV shows that started online. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Rick and Morty. An internet shirt served as the inspiration for the highly regarded and irreverent animated series Rick and Morty, which premiered on Adult Swim. The show was born online and found fresh life on television. It's interesting how it began with a show called The Ray All Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty, a Back to the Future parody. Years later, when Adult Swim contacted the shorts creator Dan Harmon about a potential series, the shirt was brought up once more, and that is how Rick and Morty were born. Number 9, Broad City. Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson are the creators and stars of the Comedy Central series, which follows two teenage best friends navigating New York City's daily life. From 2009 to 2011, Glazer and Jacobson produced two seasons of the then web series, which is where the show first garnered fame. After Amy Poehler heard about it and agreed to executive produce a TV version of the show, the sitcom made the switch to small screen. In 2014, Broad City had its small screen debut, and since then, it has been a major hit. Number 8, Human Giant. Even though MTV offered them a third season, the well-known sketch shows Human Giant only lasted two seasons due to Aziz Ansari's significant engagement with NBC's Parks and Recreation. But few people are aware that long before Human Giant was picked up, Paul Shear, Rob Hobel, Aziz Ansari, and the less well-known Jason Valiner collaborated on internet sketch comedy. Number 7. Drunk History it's hard to believe that a program centered on imbibing comedians and re-dubbing their inebriated historical narration could be so entertaining, but it is. With only one season under its belt, Drunk History has a remarkable roster of cameos. The popular online series of the same name by creator Derek Waters is largely to blame for this. View the first episode of the series online above, then binge the rest. Number 6. Billy on the Street Billy on the Street initially began as a series of funny bits, but when Fuse TV saw how well liked it was, it knew it had to pick it up. TRU TV then took up the show after the third season, till 2017. Billy on the Street went back to its shorter online version after the fifth television season and was eventually shown on several other platforms. The format of Billy on the Street is consistently the same despite its simplicity, yet the show's substance and presentation are always entertaining. Number 5. Web Therapy Lisa Kudrow plays therapist Fiona Wallace in the improvised comedy series, which launched in 2008 and won a Webby Award for Outstanding Comedic Performance in 2009. Showtime revealed intentions to adapt the internet episodes for television broadcast in 2010, adding new scenes to each episode as they were being shot. The show was renewed after receiving unfavorable reviews during its first season. The second season, as well as the third and fourth, received much better reviews from critics. But Showtime decided against bringing the show back for a fifth season. Number 4. Fred The character of Fred Figglehorn was first developed by Lucas Cruikshank for a Halloween film that he shared with his cousins on YouTube. Cruikshank started a web series centered on the character after seeing how well-liked he was, launching the Fred YouTube channel in 2008. It moved to the small screen in 2010 as a TV movie for Nickelodeon. A year later, the channel had over 1 million subscribers, making it the most subscribed channel at the time. After that, the network developed a franchise around the character, resulting in a TV series and two sequel films. Number 3, Children's Hospital. The satirical comedy series, which is hosted by actor-comedian Rob Corddry and centers on the employees of a children's hospital named after Dr. Arthur Children's, parodies the medical drama subgenre. The WB first aired the show as a web series. Ten episodes from the first season, all of which lasted only four to five minutes, debuted in 2008. Adult Swim acquired the rights to the program in 2009, and in 2010 they started broadcasting longer 15-minute episodes. The network broadcast the Emmy-winning show for five seasons, the last of which ended in 2013. 
Number 2. Burning Love This series, which portrays reality dating programs like The Bachelor, follows a person who is sifting through a group of contestants in search of the ideal partner. Webisodes executive produced by Ben Stiller and starring Ken Marino marked the start of the first season online. The series was picked up by E! After going viral and becoming a great phenomenon in 2012, and the 7.30-minute episodes were trimmed down from the original 15-minute internet installments. The first season debuted in February 2013, and the second and third seasons followed in 2014 after that. Number 1. Bleep My Dad Says Possibly the first sitcom to ever be inspired by a Twitter feed is this 2010 CBS program. The show, which features William Shatner, is partially based on Justin Halpern's account of the same name on Twitter. In 2009, Justin returned to live with his parents. He began tweeting about his father's remarks, which garnered a sizable following, and the rest is history. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.